<coughs> all right good morning guys uh, let's get started so agenda of today's session is uh, uh, on building the dashboard and uh, we have worked on several worksheet also we have seen some sample dashboard yesterday and the day before uh, and we did uh, like saw like how to publish the dashboard on the tableau public but we'll more focus on the more interactive dashboard development and as well as what are the uh, other features available in the dashboarding like what are the objects what are the items available in dashboarding so today's session is very important we will go over a uh, uh, little fast than before because uh, we have to cover lots of stuff so let's uh, talk about uh, uh, the dashboarding so we'll build a dashboard so we'll create some sample worksheet and then we'll combinely go to the dashboard and in the dashboard we will see what are the options available in dashboard then we'll create another one uh, creating interactive dashboard and then the very important one is the action script so there is something called action so you are not writing any script uh, but you will be using the menu option to create certain actions so what is action so you are uh, suppose browsing a website and you are clicking on a button or you are uh, when you are taking your mouse cursor on top of one link it is opening one pop-up window so those are all action any event any operation done by user on the dashboard is action okay so how we will give that opportunity to end user or how we will control the navigation within the dashboard as well as between the dashboard so you have multiple dashboard you want to go from one dashboard to other so you have to apply some action command so that from one dashboard when you trigger that action it will take you to the next dashboard suppose you want to come back to the that dashboard to the previous dashboard third is suppose you want to highlight certain areas in a dashboard that is an action and uh, suppose on click of one uh, you need to show another browser or another window which will give you some helpful document help documents so that's an action uh, you can keep a mouse mouse over that is one action on click that is one action or there is some menu options that is also action so there will be three type of uh, very important basic actions you will be seeing today then once you practice you will get to know what are the varieties of actions you can create okay but I will go over filter how to create filter action how to create uh, <coughs> navigation URL actions so we'll go over that and then we will see how to share the workbook so when we packaged workbook is developed when you have all the worksheet has been developed when you have all the work dashboard has been uh, built then you published it but if you want to share it across the team uh, some other team so you can save as uh, if it is a workbook you can save it as TWB if it is a packaged workbook it is TWPX and if it is a uh, like uh, you want to save it as an image you can still save as an image so I will show you that how to save a workbook as an image okay so that's the uh, uh, latter portion of the session but the very important one is building the dashboard so let's move on to uh, Tableau desktop we'll create quickly a uh, few works it uh, okay uh, let me come back here So we'll create one uh, multi two or three worksheet uh, similar to what we did yesterday, and then we'll uh, rightly jump into on the dashboard. Then same way we will create another worksheet and uh, another multiple worksheet, and we'll create another database connection, and we'll create an interactive dashboard. So the first one will be a little simpler. The second one, second one will create which will be a little more complex. But keep your attention there. Okay. So uh, uh, this is uh, my superstore I connected to that database so first uh, first thing first so you have to uh, give the name of the worksheet okay let me give sales by segment so I'll create uh, three worksheet one one I will create sales by segment let me create one will be by sales by region 
then I'll create lot of cells okay and then finally we will create one dashboard and we'll give the name as sales dashboard okay so then subsequently we'll come back and we'll create uh, other worksheet to connecting to another database and we'll create another dashboard so when you'll see the two dashboard you'll see how both the dashboard can navigate to each other and within the dashboard lots of options you have to create through action script <coughs> okay so uh, let me go back to the cells by segment so let me take uh, cells I can put it here We'll just create a, a pie chart. So cells by segment. Uh, let me all right. Customer segment. Let me take the customer segment to the color by segment we are creating. So let's take it to the color and here if I change it to pie chart so that will make the size as pie chart so you can increase and you can adjust the size okay now let me say customer segment to the label so that it will bring me the labels around the chart okay and then uh, let me take the cells to the label as well so you'll see the numbers okay how much cell. and if you do want to do the formatting we can do it later on okay let me apply a filter so let me take the region and apply the filter here let me say Asia Pacific okay so this is uh, the cells by segment and the cells of segment is for uh, Asia Pacific region and let me go here to, to work it show title so you can see that this is called cells by segment so if you want to show the caption you can also go and create the caption here as well Okay. so this is a very simple one uh, cells by segment this is the pie chart now let's go to cells by region so let me take country and region to the row you can drag and drop where you you can drag and drop here in the uh, in the row section or you can drag and drop in this view as well directly drop the file field here where it is mentioned drop the field here if I drop it here automatically it will take you to the row so it depends on you how comfortable you are uh, so you can just drag and drop it in the respective place alright so take me cells column so I can take drop it in on the column okay and then let me put the region as a filter condition I'll give here also Asia Pacific because the objective of the dashboard is uh, similar so whatever worksheet you create so they should have a similar uh, functionality and they should have a similar uh, look and feel so, so that your dashboard design will look better so when you create a sales dashboard so you need to understand what are the components what are the worksheet individually you, you are going to build so if you are going to build sales by segment sales by region or plot of sales so all should be relevant to that particular dashboard otherwise uh, again if one is going as uh, sales by segment another one is uh, profit by region so does not make any sense to the sales dashboard so that's how you can create another one called profit dashboard so same way sales dashboard will be one tab and profit dashboard will be another tab so all the worksheet related to profit you can drag it and drop it in the profit dashboard so same way you have to understand the functionality and the functional requirement and whatever you do in excel the exactly same way we are doing here in uh, tableau desktop okay 
let me drop the profit into the color okay so this is my sales by segment and this one is sales by region so let me show the title here as well okay now let's go to plot of cells profit to the row cells to the column okay and now let me change this to circle so you can create uh, as per your specific requirement so let me take the region to the filter say Asia Pacific okay so color and then I can pull the category here to the major section okay so that is my plot chat so I plotted uh, the plot of cells and then I do have uh, cells by region I do have cells by segment so here also let me show the show title okay and if you want to edit uh, the title you can edit that and if you want to change the font of the title you can change the font so that um, everything will look similar and you can give a different color if you want Okay, plot of cell. Edit title. Arial ten. That's why what we do, we create one uh, worksheet. We arrange all the fonts, properties, everything, and then we make a duplicate of it. So that will be an easy way of doing it. So that you don't need to change all this cosmetic stuff uh, again and again. So if everything is same, then you just rename it. That's it. So cells by segment, cells by region, and plot of uh, cells. So now we will go for uh, the cells dashboard. Okay. So remember this: these two icons you are seeing here. One is for worksheet and one is for dashboard so either you create it from here or you go 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 here and send new dashboard or you go here and send new worksheet so you have both the options open okay now one important thing I want to uh, say here yesterday I was showing you guys so one sales dashboard then in the bottom section in the left corner if you see that it says size is desktop so by default it picked off the size where this uh, dashboard is going to be viewed is desktop but if you want to specifically design some dashboard for tablet or, or specific size and all then what you can do is you look at this screen so here you have all the options available whether you want to set it as a laptop mode whether you want to set it as a desktop mode or you have A4 size paper you want to print some dashboard where you need to set it as a A4 then you can do that and here if you want to set it for iPad so iPad portrait or landscape so you can set all this or you can set a exactly screen size so you set exactly then you can set, set the exact screen size as well okay so that's how you you have you have the options to uh, to set which one you want to uh, like where you want to visualize this dashboard this is basically for the screen resolution earlier version this option was not there it was really bad like when you look at same dashboard uh, in tablet and you want to look at the same dashboard in desktop your screen will get adjusted and your graphs or charts whatever you have placed in the dashboard it will get resized and it does not look good so here they have given all these options and many executive top level executive level dashboards are viewable in uh, are viewed in uh, iPad so you just need to set that exact size or in the iPad portrait mode so that way it will be, be better 
All right. So now we we have the titles for each and every worksheet. So now let's go for sales dashboard and uh, so uh, dashboard. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to your question in the uh, end of the session. Okay. So dashboard, uh, new dashboard. Oh, oops, sorry. Uh, I don't want to create a new dashboard. We already created a dashboard. Okay, so go here to the dashboard and show title. You can uh, go here to this menu and create the show title or you just click on this dashboard. Okay, so there is option here in the bottom where you are setting the screen size. So you can set a show title. So uncheck it, automatically your title will go. So if you just check it, so you got your title uh, bar and you can just uh, right click edit title and you can change it so automatically the seat name become your title so you give Arial and then you can give 12 so suppose this is your sales dashboard okay so now <coughs> what we are going to do so we are going to drag and drop. So all the three worksheets, whatever we have created in this packaged workbook, those worksheets are available here. So if you want to adjust this size, you can uh, increase the. Uh, you can increase the title bar. Then if you want to place an image there, then what you can do? Uh, suppose let me see if we have an image okay. okay let me uh, pull one image here any anything you can just say um, IT America Okay, so let's say you have the IT America and you want to uh, go for a logo. Uh, let's say I will take this one. So you just need to maintain that standard. Uh, you just keep that uh, ITA logo. All right. Close this. Why did I save it? It's not here. And now if you drag this image and try to drop it here in the right side so it will ask you where you want to place it okay uh, good so we have suppose tableau logo so let's select tableau logo and then wherever you place your uh, logo you can just go there and you can find it out so if you have ITA logo or you have uh, tableau logo so you can do that as well so, so drag the image drop it at the place where you want to drop it so you select it so now you see that so that tableau logo came here so the size is not that good so that's why uh, it's just covering all your title section so you just need to make that logo adjustment properly so that it will not um, take out of your whole whole of your screen okay so so that's uh, your sales dashboard let me quickly see where did I get that uh, 
IKEA logo. So if you have image, you just have that here and then you can Okay, so center image, you can give it center so you can go to all the properties, you can set it as a URL so set URL. So when somebody click on this image, they can go to uh, suppose www.itamerica.com. So you can give your company logo and when somebody click on this, they can uh, go to this uh, uh, image. They can go to this uh, sales dashboard and they can click on this. So let's, let's go to visualization. So let's go F7. F7 you can click on visualization. So if you click on that, then automatically it will open another window and it will take you to that uh, IT America because you have given a URL on that image. So you can set n number of uh, logos, icons and that's one kind of action. So but we will see how to create those actions but this is a very simple just to add a logo and then on click of that logo even you can give a URL so that it will take them to that particular uh, website. Alright, so F7 is always you keep checking F7 so that you will find out to how is the visualization looks like so you can find that as well okay so you have sales dashboard so now let's move on so sales by region so now we will drop that uh, drag and drop sales by region here so you have sales by region so you see that if I go uh, to uh, okay let let that be there okay sales by um, region and now until and unless you drag another worksheet to this workbook so this whole dashboard is covered with this particular worksheet so when you bring another worksheet say sales by segment and you want to place it on the left side okay so now what it does it divided the same dashboard into two sections one is sales by segment and one is sales by region all right So now let's say uh, you want to plot by cells and you want to place it on here or wherever you want you can just place it let me uh, let me place it here in the you can select that and you can uh, drag it and you can say I want to place it at the bottom so you can do that as well okay so if you want to uh, adjust it you can drag and you can uh, resize it how many how much you want you can uh, do that as well okay so now let's say select uh, the cells by segment select this dashboard go here this uh, down arrow is very important all the menus related to this particular worksheet in this particular dashboard is driven through this uh, down arrow button okay so go here there is a fit so if you say fit entire view you click on entire view so that this uh, uh, the the view whichever you created in that worksheet will be in the completely cover in that worksheet so do the same exercise okay and let's do one thing so
so you can drag and you can uh, adjust whatever you want so you go here and you say feet width or feet entire view and then you go here and let me uh, let me do one thing let me delete this one and bring that uh, plot of cells all the way to horizontal okay so it's all depends on how you are placing it so you just make sure you you are readjust it so when you bring uh, by dragging it through your mouse cursor so it will give you different different position areas like whether it is left top or right corner or uh, or the horizontal and the halfway through so now i did that so you see that plot of cell is here covering the whole worksheet so you can say uh, feet a uh, width or height or entire view okay so now uh, let me go here click on fit and say enter view okay so now you have all the three uh, uh, worksheet within this particular dashboard okay so now let's go to this uh, so quick filter so everywhere you can show that quick filter okay so when you go to this dashboard Hold on a second. <clears throat> Worksheet. This is customer segment sales. Okay. this is consumer now what we can do is we can make it floating so we can float it around wherever we want we can just place it or else if you want to fix it then you can say uh, not floating so you have to adjust it somewhere so if you say floating you can you can float it around okay or we will remove this okay now let me quickly see why this um, quick filter is not showing up there it's supposed to show off here because when you apply a filter condition to one worksheet so that um, whole filter should shown here so okay let me uh, go to the dashboard this is the dashboard and you just need to very uh, careful into the cursor <laughs> just wait so we have to apply it to the uh, dashboard actually so let me click on somewhere you just, you just need to create, click a little outside of the worksheet so that you will get the properties of the dashboard so now we are not seeing the dashboard window uh, basically so that's what I'm trying to do once you get that dashboard let me quickly drag it and drop it here I hope I'll get a little space here okay let's uh, really do it quickly once again so that we'll find it out what's going on there 
okay this is my sales dashboard okay now let's drag sales by region so when I drag and drop it yep so okay so sales by region so we have uh, drag and drop the sales by region so now you take it the sales by segment Uh, let me create a new dashboard actually sales dashboard okay so in the sales dashboard let me show the title right click edit title area 10 or 12 and then we give some different color okay so that's the sales dashboard then uh, drag and drop the sales by segment here then drag and drop sales by region here and then drag and drop plot of sales Let me scroll it down. Plot of cells. Okay. So we have all the three. So now let's go here. Feet entire view. And then go here. Feet entire view. And then go uh, here and select. Oops. So select feet and view. Okay. So you have all the three. So now what we have done is so this is uh, uh, the the graph, the dashboard, and the um, let's do it. So now if you change this to uh, Asia Pacific, you say it's just EMEA. So what it did. So it just changed the cells by segment. But what I want is, so this whole dashboard is com combination of the three worksheet. And the same uh, region is the uh, uh, filter applied to all the three worksheets. So I want this filter should control the whole dashboard, not only particular worksheet within the dashboard. So let's, uh, or you go here, change it to Asia Pacific so it's only impacting to the one dash worksheet within the dashboard but now our objective is to make this filter work for whole dashboard so what you have to do is apply on uh, click on this filter that is called apply to worksheet so if it says only this worksheet so that means it will apply only to the worksheet but if you say uh, particularly selected worksheet uh, you will say uh, which worksheet you want to select so if you select it then you can select which worksheet you want. So if you want to all worksheet, you can apply to all worksheet or all on dashboard. So you can create all on dashboard. Okay. And click OK. So now what will happen? So when you take it out, the all dashboard is gone. So when you bring it back, it will bring apply to all the worksheet uh, inside the dashboard okay so now you see that so this is uh, how your filter is working now so if you apply another one take out this one or you apply another one and you take out uh, EMEA so all the three visualization the three view you created for one particular objective one particular functional requirement will show you the graph the chart the vertical bar chart or the horizontal bar chart the histogram the pie chart and the plot cell so all the three will be controlled through the same filter condition okay okay so what's the question can we change uh, text area box yes you can change it so you can you can change uh, uh, whatever you want you can change it so all the text area everything you can change it so let 
let me show you that as well so you can change the header as well and remember it whatever you make change in the worksheet automatically it will reflect in this dashboard you do not need to recreate it again and again so once you apply it you can change it so now you can change all these uh, properties as well and all the text so for all the icons and you can even delete all these if you don't need this you just click on delete you don't need cells you don't need uh, this uh, to be visible in the graph you can change it and if you want to edit any of the sections here you can go and edit title you can say uh, customer type segment or customer type whatever you want to give you can give that name so anything you want to change it from the filter condition you can go and always remember this down arrow icon is very important it has all the properties whether you want to give a pick list or you want to give a single value or whatever you want you can single value list so where they can only select one value at a time so that also you can do so you change it so it will only give you the radio button and then then you can change that radio button so whatever properties we um, saw before uh, all our class class for filters and all the individual properties for individual uh, function functions available in tableau that's all you can do through dashboard okay and then if you go here so all the options are available here you can just uh, uh, show the caption here if you want to show caption the caption will come back here in the bottom of this so just you need to make sure it looks good it does not uh, make your dashboard really looking ugly so you just need to design in such a way so you can do that so this is the very simple one we created okay and you can you can show the legend uh, color size legend you can uh, size it so uh, lots of stuff you can do here as well and as well as you can uh, you see you can adjust this one as well you can you can scroll it you can take it horizontal and you can uh, you say okay this graph this tabular report is bigger than this pie chart or bar chart so you can take a maximum area from the dashboard for this one and then you can change the graphs and uh, pie chart size to the smaller one okay so that's a very simple one we created just with three worksheet within the dashboard and you have different different um, uh, visualization and we applied the filter condition how the dashboard keep changing so we we can publish it but uh, before publish let's move on to another dashboarding where we will see more interactive more um, advanced features and then we will come back and finally we will publish it okay so now let me do one thing let me hide all this uh, worksheet okay okay and uh, remember one uh, one quick thing so when you hide a worksheet so you cannot right right click in this bar and you can unhide so that option is not available so make sure when you hide a worksheet so you have to go to this uh, dashboard where you have used the worksheet and then you come back here and you will see that hide option is enabled so you just uncheck it automatically it will be on hidden okay so that's a, that's a basic uh, uh, stuff so let's go move on so we will create another one so we'll create a new data data source connection okay let's go to summer olympic okay so we'll create uh, some advanced uh, dashboarding here let me drag this Olympic over here go back to worksheet okay so now I'm going to create a computed field here called medal type okay so let me bring back the I had some formulas here so we don't have okay so this is just if condition if formula so if it is a branch then we'll create one so we'll give us medal type so if you have attended the class for calculated field so this is a very simple if statement if bronze greater than zero silver greater than zero gold greater than zero then take the sum of uh, gold silver and bronze 
so that's a metal type so else if so silver and gold then say string of gold uh, plus gold and string of you are just converting that to a string type so that your numeric value and your string value are getting concatenated with each other okay so now the syntax is valid click ok alright so we have all this uh, yes you can save it that's what I am going to do so you are creating in one and you have multiple dashboard in the real time you will see uh, 30 40 matrix uh, so 30 40 different dashboard so we call it matrix because each each dashboard within the dashboard you'll be having four or five different metrics so hundreds of worksheet and you can create 20 or 30 dashboards everything can be packaged into one packaged workbook okay so there is no harm to create one or create multiple but you just need to think of how the screen will look like right you have multiple tab in your desktop so you have to just control and you have to make sure you know which worksheet is belongs to which dashboard and that that kind of stuff so that's why we first create worksheet then we build the dashboard then we create the worksheet then we build the dashboard so in that way we will know which dashboard is using uh, what worksheet uh, which were developed before okay, okay. so now uh, I connected this and we created uh, uh, the, a one computed field so now let's move on total medals by country so let's say I will create one worksheet as total medals by country one I will create total medals by sports and we can create one called medals by athlete and then we will create one called medal by country okay so we have four um, uh, worksheet we'll create really quick so let's go here so row let me take country to the row okay so measure value let me take it to column and then I can put major name in the filter so here let me take out this age and number of records so we'll just keep bronze silver and gold so automatically your value will be only three type of values okay so major name place it on the color and then here you can go edit color alright so bronze ok <coughs> apply sorting so let me sort it manual bronze silver and gold so once you sorted the major name, automatically your major value will be sorted. So bronze, silver, and gold. Okay. So let me apply the filter uh, sorting to the country as well. So you can sort it. So you have uh, country in the rows, major value in the column, and we have defined in the major names and value, and we set up the column colors. Okay. So this is one. So let's move on to the next. So total medal by country. So this one is uh, total medal by sports. Okay. So let me take a row as the sports. Major value as the column. And then major name. You can put it on the filter. Take out the age and uh, this one and then apply the sorting and go sorting to manual bronze silver and gold okay 
and then you can place the major name on the column as well okay so bronze uh, oops did I change it manual bronze silver and gold All right, so that's bronze, silver, and gold, and filter uh, name is there. So this is by sports. So if you see that our row x-axis, our column uh, like row is sports, so x-axis is sports, and the count is there. All right, let's move on to medals by athlete. Okay, major name. Let me take it to column. And in the row, let me put the name of the athlete. Then let me put the sports, which sports they are playing. And then I can put the medal type. Medal type. Major name in the column, name in the row, okay, name in the row, then we have sports, let me take the sports here, and then let me take the medal type. All right, so we have medal type, and let me drag it a little bit. Okay, so uh, the medal type, and then you have uh, rows and columns. So that's basically gives you the medals by athlete. Who is the athlete? Which sports? What medal they are getting? Okay, so here you can uh, format it or you can right click edit alias so you can give that as uh, medal medal received okay so who is the uh, uh, person and uh, what scores and what medal they have received okay so now let's go here to medal by country okay so this will be a geo mapping so okay quickly who can tell me in the geo mapping uh, what should be on the row and what should be on the column So there are two measures, latitude and longitude. So which one should be in the row? So latitude should go to the row and longitude should come to the column. Okay, so then it will give you the geographical mapping. And then you filter by major name, apply the filter, take out bronze, silver, <coughs> uh, and then major value, we can take that uh, major value, to the size, okay, and then uh, you can apply the sorting here, bronze, silver, and gold, okay. So bronze, silver, and gold. Oops. Let me go here. Sorting. I didn't apply it. So apply always. Otherwise, it will not pick up. So I just click on apply.
okay now let's say uh, country name okay so now it plotted so which one you have uh, marked in this map so in this geographical mapping so you have uh, longitude latitude and you have the country so if you keep your mouse cursor on top of it it will say country how many silver if you uh, select gold uh, then you will see oops it will see the uh, on uh, tool tip it will show you how many goals so so we we created basically four different type of uh, work set so one is total medal by country one is total medal by sports and one is total medal by athlete so this creating this visualization are really easy if you understand the requirement and you create a prototype when i say prototype you have to create uh, in the excel saying what should be in your row what should be in your column so once you practice then then this will be really easy within one day you can build a hundred different of work set but only thing is how you understand uh, what is the business requirement what formatting you need and what menu options or what computed columns you have to create what filter you have to apply so once you pull the data from the database then it's all up to you how you want to derive these things okay all right so now you created uh, we created all these uh, four different type of worksheet so now let's move on for a dashboard okay so we'll give this dashboard name as 2012 london olympic results okay so this is the dashboard which is 2012 London Olympic results. So here, uh, if you see that uh, in the left size, you can create any different type of formatting. You can drop it uh, wherever you want. You can make your own look and feel. Uh, when you uh, go to the project, try to uh, utilize your uh, uh, like skill set. Make it more user friendly. Uh, business user always impressed when you make a better user friendly local field. Okay, so that's not really needed for a training purpose. Okay, so uh, uh, let let's uh, fix it. So the fix the size to uh, nine nine hundred, and then go for the height. Say I will give height as six hundred. So you can fix on uh, the size or you can just um, say I want to see that in the desktop mode or I want to see the laptop mode. So however you want, you can just uh, set that width and height as well. Okay, so now uh, this is called uh, metal by country. So let me go to metal by country and drag it and drop it on, on the worksheet. Okay, this is metal by country. So now if you see the here in the left side, there are two objects. So tomorrow when I will ask several questions, we will go for a practice session for different interview questions. Remember all these things, these are all questions. So people will ask like what are the different objects available in a dashboard. So you should know that horizontal, vertical, text, image, web page and blank. So you can create a blank page as well, blank dashboard as well. So these six objects are very important when you build a dashboard okay so we have a whole day practice session for different kind of varieties of interview questions tomorrow or day after tomorrow but make sure you have all these things practice so that you can able to answer the questions it will be more interactive okay and bring all your questions for for that session uh, we will uh, even open the desktop we'll go over it we'll see whatever question comes to your mind bring it back so that we can play around with that okay so now let's say uh, horizontal, vertical, text, image, web page, and blank. So now let's say I will drag a vertical line and I will drop it here. And then drag the total medal by sports into this section. So I divided this whole dashboard into two sections so that I will not get uh, 
I, I don't need to control my mouse control to move it and place it at the right place. So I just divide it into two sections. So it just give me two, two half. One half is for medal by country. So another half one is for total medal by sports. Okay. So now there is an athlete, medal by athlete. Let me bring it and drop it in the bottom of this. Okay. So I have this medal by country map and then we have the medals and for each medal there will be medal by athletes so we will create now the action script how through action command we can control this whole dashboard uh, from country to medal medal to athlete okay we'll see that okay so here let me go here and say uh, edit title so this one is nothing but medal type right medal type so we have medal type and this major value we don't need it so let me take it out okay and then what we can do is we can make this as floating so that we can place it anywhere we want let me place it here all right so we have um, total medal by sports, we have medal by athletes and we have medal by country and then we cre created uh, this uh, dashboard. So very important one is now to control it through action script. So now click on dashboard then there is something called action. Okay. So if you say show title it will show the title. If you say format it will allow you to do the formatting in the dashboard or if you say um, uh, the action click on that so this action window will open so keep your attention here so here add action there are three options either it is a URL action or it is a highlight or it is a filter action okay so uh, suppose my objective is I want to select click on a country and it should show me what are the medals uh, like received by that country and then I want to click on the sports which sports and then in the third worksheet I have the list of uh, athletes who own that medal so I want to see that so that means worksheet 1 will control the worksheet 2 worksheet 2 will control the worksheet 3 so in that case what I need to do is I am basically doing a filter so in that way you will decide what is what action you are going to perform and accordingly you have to create the action script so now say I will go here and I'll say filter so it will open another worksheet another window saying add filter action so this is the action filter okay so let me uh, give the name as map filter because this one will be applied into the map so I will apply that click uh, that action in the map filter so that just give a name so it's not like it's for your understanding you should know that which filter you are creating for which worksheet within that dashboard. So now you say it is map filter. And now which one? This is medal by country. So select the source. So on source it will drive a target. Right? So there is a three options here. One is hover. Hover is nothing but mouse over. So they, they cannot write mouse over because of copyrights. So they cannot use that functionality of Microsoft. So they come up with the option called hover. So you have a um, select means you have to click on that. Menu, you will see that menu options. When you click, you will see a menu option. Then only you have to click on that menu. Then you will, it will take you to that action. So now let's say I will, I will click on select. So now coming back here. So medal by country, medal by athletes, total medal by sports. Okay. And I say exclude all value. Clearing the selection uh, will leave the filter. And the clear selection when you are clearing the selection, whether you leave all leave the filter or show all the value or exclude all value. So let's say exclude all value. Okay, medal by country medal by athlete 
and total medal by sports okay so you see that the map filter got created run on select then you have the source and field is all and apply ok so now if you click on this so now you see that so automatically uh, your uh, other two worksheet get changed so if you click on this then it will say who are the uh, who are, what what games what sports the medal won in this country and then who are the players um, achieve those uh, medals okay so if you click on this so it will show you who are the but now my objective is I want to on click of this uh, archery or I on click on swimming it should only show me the the um, athletes who won for swimming okay so I want to apply the filter on the third one by controlling through the second one okay now what I'm doing here is I'm just controlling through the map and I'm controlling the other two but my objective is to create another action script so that I click on diving so it will show me in the bottom one only those uh, uh, athletes own the diving one okay so you can basically take it wherever you want blue and gold medals okay so now let's go here to the dashboard and create another action go here create a filter so now my objective is so if I give that name filter by athletes let me give the name as filter by athletes okay filter by athletes so now we what which one is my driving worksheet my driving worksheet is total medal by sports so that is the source so source is total metal by sport so I just click on that one so here you will see if you have multiple dashboard you will see what are the dashboard so suppose you want to create an action which is from this dashboard you want to go to sales dashboard then your source will be 2012 London Olympic but your target will be sales dashboard so if you want to go from this dashboard to this dashboard particular worksheet you can it will take you to to that one okay so now let's uh, create the total medals by sports and my option is select and then what I want is you go here and here it will be medal by athlete I don't want to control all whereas in the first one I created on click of medal by country I'm controlling all the views like sports and the uh, athletes everything but here on click of this I just want to control the medal by athletes so you can click, click on that and say exclude all values click OK so you have that action added to the to the worksheet okay so now let me go with the visualization mode okay so you click on this then it will bring you uh, to uh, it will bring you to the uh, worksheet so if you bring you to this worksheet now suppose you want to shooting click on shooting it controls the bottom one it just say who won the medals and what type of medals received one gold medal and for the shooting if you click on rowing it will give you the rowing if you click on diving it will give you the diving so you control from map from map it will take you to this one and then from here it will bring you to, to the swimming so it controls that one so you can visualize uh, all the three uh, as per your specific requirement and you can make a better look and feel for both um, your medals countries uh, whatever you want so there is a one unknown uh, country so as I said so if you want uh, edit the location uh, that one was there when we created <coughs> this one was Taiwan so if you have Taiwan click on that ok so automatically that unknown will go away okay so you can uh, you can do lots of stuff here and then uh, this one is the very important one where you created the action script okay so you control that through the action script okay so now uh, another another important one is how you control 
uh, through a URL. So what I want to do is I want to create one one uh, URL action so that on click of this uh, sports it should give me the help information about this sports. Suppose I'm I'm the I'm just viewing it. I don't know which sports it belongs to and who is this athlete. I want to give some information about them uh, through wiki. Okay, so if I want to do that, then what I have to do is I have to create a action script for URL type. Okay, so now let's go here to the dashboard. Create an action. Go here. That is called URL. So in this URL action, what I'll give is uh, look up look up information about you give the spark parameter about the sport okay so in the source sheet I'll give medal by athletes and total medal by sports the option what I want to run is through menu so we saw that how to create it by select now we will create one by menu so when you click on that by menu now you go here and you say I'll give some uh, en dot wiki dot org wiki then you pass the sports okay and you can test the link here whatever you are typing here if it is correct or not you can click on that test so if it is opening that Wikipedia then uh, you are good yeah it is doing that so uh, you have uh, these two worksheet and within that worksheet you are embedding a URL action and that URL action is linked with the menu alright so click OK now create one more URL and the name is look of information about the name so who own it let's look at uh, his profile so this will be only driven through the medal by athlete option is go with menu and then you give the URL Start Bing com. Then I will search. So you know this parameter, right? When you search something, let's see. Search. You can you can just go to the browser. You search for that name and then you bring it and copy and paste. So once you do it every time, you will remember it. So it will ask you for the Q equals to. Then we give the name, right? So this is how we pass the parameter. So it is a just a HTML scripting kind of. So if you click on plus, so it will bring you that Olympics. Okay. So if you want to test it, you can test it here. So automatically, if you are typing a wrong or if you don't know, you see that if when you go with the Bing or any search engine, so it always take the URL and then search question mark Q equals to, then it pass that parameters. Okay. So when there is a space, it will take by percentage. Otherwise, when it is a string, you can just make it as plus. So this is what the Olympic uh, the by athlete. Okay. So now uh, a URL and code data value. Click on OK. All right. So now click OK and you go to the visualization of it. We added the action script. So now if you uh, click on this, uh, it gives you the filter, but on uh, that menu, on that highlight, you have a option here. So if you click on look up information about archery, so if you click on that, okay, so it will take you to another window, which will give you the help link for, it will directly take you to wiki and it will give you the all information about that game uh, when it happened and what all the all, all the informations okay
same way let's say so now you you got that to Mercury so now you go here and you want to see about this person so if you click on this you see that there are two options coming so this person own for archery and then you can see uh, information about that person as well so it will take you to another one so in the jack of uh, when when uh, uh, he own and what games and all information you will find that in the browser okay so that's how you control lots of things uh, through um, action scripts so either uh, through a um, URL or through the filter and also you have the higher like Uber Uber is just I, I'm clicking here then only I'm seeing that options right so when I click here then it apply the filter and it also show me the menu options but Uber is on keeping your mouse cursor on top of it it immediately it will trigger that event so that is Uber so if you want to open a URL just on top of this uh, you, you can just uh, open that URL by passing the parameter and the beauty is like when you keep your cursor here Tableau automatically read this value and it can pass that as a parameter to your URL so you don't need to write any scripts or anything you are just controlling through those uh, menu options and writing those uh, rules all right so that's basically uh, on, on the dashboarding and those, those are advanced features so now let's quickly go here okay so now uh, let me show you one uh, good good thing so let's go here and you want to save uh, this as a print as a PDF you have those options which frequently asked so print as PDF or you can print uh, and then you can uh, export so when you click on export so you, you have two dashboard okay so you can export it you can save it uh, as a packaged workbook so you see that the option is packaged workbook because you have combination of worksheet dashboard and data right so ITA okay so you can save it so that's another options okay so uh, now let me go here okay so here uh, if you save it as an image so export image this is called sales dashboard give your dash uh, image type and now if you go back here okay so you see that here so you want to make a PowerPoint presentation and you have multiple dashboard but out of that you just need three or four slide uh, to be available in your PowerPoint so what we need to do is like you just need to save it save as uh, image and then after you save it as image you can paste it in your uh, slide deck alright so that's another options uh, to uh, create the to save it as image so either you save the image as a desktop uh, sorry uh, the uh, dashboard or if you want to save certain worksheet same way you can go here and go to worksheet export as image so you can export as image you can export data you can uh, cross tab to excel so you can take it to excel as well you can export it to excel so if you say image so it will give you the options so include title caption views so all these options are available so you can just say yes I want to export the including the title and caption you can do that if you want to export it through using the color legend as well then that also can be doable so all these options are available when you export it and save it this worksheet menu will have all worksheet options the dashboard menu will have all the dashboards so when you select a dashboard then you will see all the menus are enabled for the dashboards okay so format copy image export image all these things all right so that's uh, uh, let me quickly publish this dashboard okay all 
and I can just uh, take all this out. I can hide all these things. So when you apply some uh, when you apply some filter, it will automatically uh, apply that actions into your worksheet. So you don't really care about it because that will be applied on on your dashboard itself. So you don't need to. Okay. So hide this worksheet. Hide this worksheet. Right, this works it okay so this one we we have not used in any of the dashboard so it is not showing me that option to the whole to hide it okay so that means whatever worksheet you have created you should be using that for any of the dashboard development okay so uh, now let's go here and uh, tableau public save it to save to web click on that so what it will ask it will ask to create the extract because your database what you have in your local machine is not available for tableau public so it will say um, sales and 2012 so we do not publish as, as a different dashboard into one because if your objective is different make one dashboard for 2012 Olympic one dashboard for sales and publish it do not combine different kind of dashboard into uh, one category so that it will not be a confusing one okay okay so it says we have to create the extract for those database Has already exist one extra with the same name but we can still create overwrite it so tomorrow uh, like we'll go over uh, the tab commands so there are different kind of tab commands and um, lots of admin options like how automate hold this publishing process every time you will not doing it manually right so you have to place everything in the server the server commands will take care of it so scheduling the jobs so all automate automation process basically will go over and as well as you'll go over a few uh, sample <coughs> like kind of interview questions and day after tomorrow we'll have more uh, interaction on the uh, on the interview process so that will be um, 40 50 different type of questions will uh, go over and we'll see how you guys are performing and accordingly I'll let you know what how level up what level of preparation you need to do okay tableau public just let me save it so now it's publishing that view so we created the extract so that this extract will be published basically and then once you publish it then you can go to uh, Tableau public and uh, view it.
Tableau public. We just named it as book book two. So we'll go here. right so when we published it so that's what it says book 2 okay So we have sales dashboard, we have uh, this Olympic dashboard, 2012 Olympic dashboard, so you can open that as well. Yeah, Then you can copy and send the URL or what not, you can do lots of stuff here. So if you click on this, then it will uh, control the other two, then you say on diving, who own the medals then you you can you can see basically all the features whatever you are doing here and you see that the dashboards are coming as tab so one was sales dashboard so if you go to sales dashboard you can see your sales dashboard so on click of this or on click of this uh, you if we have that uh, filter condition then we can apply that filter and uh, action script and it will control the filter as well okay so there are lots of stuff here and then go here to this is user interaction basically so user will be doing that so when they click on this one and then they go on diving and then they click on this then the menu option will be open so they can uh, go and learn about look off and learn about the diving so you click on so it will open another tab with that uh, wiki information alright so that's uh, uh, more on uh, practice so keep practicing I will say you will know each and every menu option what it does the developing it's a very simple reporting tool you have all the options you just need to drag and drop and create and build your report and finally you publish it on either it is on Tableau server or Tableau public it doesn't matter but it's always same so in place of Tableau public you have to access your own server name IP port and then subsequently uh, you have to browse the dashboard and the only thing is you have a controlled environment when you purchase your own server you ha you can control it but it is cloud so it is cloud based tableau will control it okay all right so that's for today so all your questions bring back tomorrow uh, so that uh, we will have more interactive session uh, we'll go over your questions before that i will go over uh, the automation and admin commands so that is called tab commands tab tab cmd tab commands so we'll see what are the options available for tab commands what you can do through tab commands whatever we have done here is publishing exporting importing everything you can do through tab commands uh, viewing in pdf email notification all those things so we'll go over that and uh, yeah i think that's it for today uh, uh, talk to you guys tomorrow all right thanks